Fa. Oh! Ate a f***ing cactus. God help me. Help your man out and subscribe. Yo, it's your man Goaty here, and today the challenge I'm about to do is this bad boy right here. The Moab Gold Challenge. So, this challenge is a chocolate bar, as you might remember, because I did the Moab, mm, the original one, uh, probably a year ago, one of my first spicy challenges. But this is our white chocolate version, and it got Carolina Reaper peppers in it, and it also has ghost pepper in it. <clears throat> and the whole thing to this challenge is, as long as you can beat it, if you finish it in under three minutes, you get five points with the League of Fire. If it's over three minutes, then you get four points for completing it. No afterburn. So the ingredients include white chocolate, sugar, partially hydrogenated palm kernel oil, and cottonseed oils, non-fat dry milk, milk, glycerol, lacto esters of fatty acids, soy lecithin, salt, and artificial flavor, caramel filling, which consists of corn syrup, sweetened condensed milk, coconut oil, sugar, water, glycerol, monosterate, artificial vanilla flavor, Caroline Reaper peppers, Trinidad scorpion peppers, and contains milk and soy, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, and coconut. Oh, huh, there's coconut in this. Crazy. So, let's read this disclaimer and get right at it. I, Cody Delaney, am over 18 years of age, of sound mind, and have read and understood the hot sauce slash product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers, and manufacturers will, under no circumstances, be responsible for, or liable for, any claims of injury or damage arising from me, Consuming this product or multiple layers of, I acknowledge and agree to this without question. Okay. Mm. I've been eating so healthy here recently that I'm actually looking forward to this chocolate. And I love white chocolate. It's my favorite kind of ch favorite version of chocolate. Ah, and I ripped the package. But. See this thing out in the clear. I've got a golden ticket that will surely burn my insides. Boom. Look at that thing, guys. See, it's not purely white. It got some more of a yellowish color to it. For those peppers. Oh, and it smells hot. So, we're gonna break this bad boy. Oh man, look how thick this caramel is. It doesn't even break. You're allowed to split it up into pieces like the other ones. But look. Ah. You get all the Reaper flakes in it. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun one, guys. The whole game plan is to eat this as fast as possible. So we don't, so we can get some liquid relief as quick as possible. I am not. The caramel smells good for what it's worth. And this is just, this is just completely breaking everywhere. This is not staying together. I wonder how they made this caramel so freaking thick. Uh, like, that is actually taking strength. This is going to be a jaw workout. For sure. Nice. Well, I got my eight pieces right here. <sighs> Wish me luck. One, two, three, let's go.
So guys, even though this bar is spicy as hell, I would say that this is my favorite candy bar. The white chocolate is amazing, the caramel is amazing, and looking back on it, this is probably the most enjoyable challenge I have ever done. I highly recommend it, but it is going to be very spicy to a normal person, or even a normal chili head. I wish they sold this bar in a non-spicy form in stores. Like, this is a bar that I would pick up if I was looking for a snack or something like that. Obviously, if it wasn't spicy. It is that good. I still got some of it stuck on my teeth. All the chocolate's gone, but like I still have some of the caramel coat in my teeth a little bit. But if I'm to be honest with you guys, one thing was delicious. The heat really doesn't kick in until like you're like five squares in or something like that. But man, that caramel was delicious. That white chocolate was delicious. I would eat that as a snack, like not that whole bar of course, maybe like one or two squares. <clears throat> that was good. Uh, my nose was running a little bit. I think overall I'm going to put it at like a solid five on my scale. I'm not panicking, like I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I'm looking forward to some milk, but I really don't need it. Mmm, that was good. I'd probably say I used to think that Crazy Kimberlin bar was really good, and it definitely is. But, yeah. This is my new favorite bar by them. This gold. Mm. That is delicious. The other bar I have, I have uh, the Raspberry Rain, and I have the White Chocolate Chili Cherry Nightmare. But I'm not really looking forward to doing the chili cherry nightmare because I just want to like to taste the cherries. But I will eventually get to it. Ah. So, if you like what I do here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you <coughs> share. Your man Cody's out of here with another challenge completely destroyed.